Okay. <sighs> Anxiety. God, I know, I know I struggle with it. I know that you might have struggled with it. Maybe you're struggling with it right now, but this is going to be a guide to mastering the anxiety within your mind. Anxiety is a fucking bitch. It's a beast though, I'm not gonna hold you. It is one side of a coin that is of two evils, depression, okay? Which we will talk about in the next module. But anxiety, we're gonna fucking attack this module because anxiety can't be here when you pound your chest and you do push-ups on the fucking floor. You feel decisive, you're certain, you know, you know. If you don't know, anxiety will creep in, all right? You will become a drifter, okay? You're not alone, man, all right? Anxiety thrives in the weak, okay? But, like I just said, you're not alone, which means you're not weak, okay? You just perceive yourself as weak. That's fine, all right? Let's get, let's get right into this shit. Step one, understand the beast of anxiety, okay? Anxiety is not just mental. Before we take down anxiety, you've gotta understand what you're up against. It's physical, it's emotional, and it's often spiritual, okay? It's often a deep-rooted fear, okay? Fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of not being enough, right? You are not that, though, okay? Your, your base state that you're fucking born here on this earth with is not an anxious person. That is something that is learned, okay? You learn to be anxious because you learn to be fearful, right? Okay? It's your body and mind overreacting to a situation that might not even be real, all right? It might be real, but it might not even be real, and you gotta really be honest with yourself about that. But you are not your anxiety. It is a response. It is not your identity, okay? You have to stop identifying with, oh, I am an anxious person, okay? No, you are, you are anxious in that moment. You feel the emotion of anxiety, but you are not an anxious person, okay? That is why you keep reinforcing it, because what did we say in the last module? Your words are powerful. They are powerful, okay? Identify your triggers. Anxiety doesn't just come out of nowhere, okay? What are the situations, what are the external th things in your environment that are setting you off, that are triggering you? Is it social pressure? Is it performance stress? Do you have people that are relying on you, right? Is it relationships? Write them down and fucking own them, okay? When you know your triggers, you know where the fight is happening and you can prepare for battle, baby. God, I fucking love this shit. Step two. Physical dominance, get out of your fucking head and into your goddamn body. You can't be anxious. I just made a video on this on Instagram. You can't be anxious on the goddamn Stairmaster when your heart is beating at 160 beats per minute and your legs are full of lactic acid and you wanna fucking die because it's so painful. You ain't gonna be anxious though. You're gonna be proud that you finished those goddamn stairs and you hit your goddamn time, right? Daily exercise, non-negotiable, it's gotta be done. Breath work. So fucking important. Talked about it last time. Gotta be done though. Anxiety hits. It means your breath is, right? Short, wheezy, bullshit. No, slow it down on purpose. Right? Just feel so much better doing that. Right? Just feel, feel the breath. All right? Hold it for four seconds. Exhale for four seconds. You know the deal. Cold showers. Anxiety wants you to be comfortable in that chaos, baby. No, 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 we self-inflict chaos, right? We self-inflict our own chaos. And that's how we overcome the external chaos that is being inflicted upon us, baby. We crush that shit! Cold showers, forces you into discomfort, okay? I just got a cold plunge out here, 50 bucks on Amazon, fucking amazing investment. Fill it up with the fucking hose, ice in it, boom, every morning, 6 a.m., I'm in that bitch, ripping it, all right? It's cleaning right now. You know, I gotta, I gotta let it sit for a day. So we take cold showers instead. Either way, cold exposure is the key terminology we're looking to I'll fucking comprehend here, all right? Get some of it. It's good for your soul, baby. And it's good for your anxiety, okay? Can't be anxious. You're freezing to death. The fuck are you gonna be anxious? Yeah. God. Whew. Step three, mental warfare. Take back control of your thoughts, right? Reframe them. Okay, anxiety takes root in your mind, of course. The problem is most men do not realize that they are in charge of what they think, okay? So if you let your mind drift and let it run wild, it's gonna play you like a fucking flute. But if you take control, then you can own your mental state, 
okay? Anxiety distorts reality. It makes you think the worst case scenario is inevitable, but that is a fucking lie. Fuck you, anxiety. So you should fucking say to that shit. Whenever anxiety creeps in, reframe it. If you're anxious and failing, tell yourself this is a chance, an opportunity to grow, right? Just fucking scream at yourself sometimes. Be aggressive, be a man. If you're anxious about being judged, tell yourself other people's opinions do not define me. I define me. So if I choose to listen to their opinions, then I am allowing their opinions to make me have their own opinions of me. And then I'm defining me. That was a fucking tongue twister. I hope you figured that one out. Probably not, because I'm honestly fucking lost. Anyways, you've got to be relentless though, man. And flipping the script. Train your mind like a soldier on the battlefield. Stay sharp as fuck, all right? Limit exposure to negativity. We don't need this negative bullshit in your lives anymore, okay? Look what you consume mentally on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? This is even more important than what you consume physically. It's like, uh, I'd say it's more important. Yeah, it's more important. Like, if you can't figure out the physical part, that's fucked. But like, mentally, if you're just like watching fucking girls shake their ass and shit, like, you're fucking cooked. All right, if you're always on social media comparing yourself to other people, you're like watching garbage news that fills your head with fear, that's feeding into your stress and your anxiety and like your doubts, like it's not good, bro. It's not good. You definitely just, you don't need to be doing it to yourself, okay? God. Surround yourself with positive input. Read books that elevate your mind and expand your consciousness. Watch videos that educate you and inspire you. Feed your mind, feed your mind, feed your mind with the right fuel. Step four. Build a routine that anchors you, okay? First hour of your day sets the tone for the rest. Start it strong, hydrate, move your body, meditate, journal, reflect, okay? Be grateful. Write down what the fuck you're grateful for. Before you let the world end your fucking life within the first 20 seconds of being awake by just picking up your phone and just instantly peaking, spiking your anxiety and spiking your cortisol and increasing the stress in your body, don't give it, don't give it room to creep in, my friend. Don't give it room to creep in, okay? Evening routine, anxiety often peaks in at night when your mind is racing if you haven't done shit for the day because you're like, oh my God, I didn't do anything, fuck, what am I gonna do tomorrow? You start stressing because you're a failure that day, all right? We don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't operate in that realm because we did our workout for the day. We did our push-ups for the day, all right? We tracked our fucking macros for the day. We were a good person to everyone around us that day, okay? We cared, we expressed passion and decisiveness, certainty, love, gratitude, positive emotions, baby, okay? And reflect on your daily wins, all right? <laughs> Anxiety usually comes from feeling, feeling out of control, so when you're in control, right, from reflecting on your wins, you're reinforcing, you're a winner, okay? Step five, connect with your purpose. Anxiety hates when you have a purpose. It doesn't fucking exist when you know what you're doing, bro. You don't know what you're doing. It's like, I just think of like, a math problem, right? This is the easiest analogy. You're not gonna get stressed, right? If you go in front of the class and the teacher's like, what's one plus one, right? You have two, no shit, bitch, dumbass, right? Fuck three, you? stupid, bro, stupid. Anxiety's gonna not gonna, you're not gonna be stressed. You're gonna be like, one plus one's two, okay? She's like, what the fuck is 16X minus 33Y equals 63B? And you're like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, then the class is looking at you, the eyes are peering, they're like fucking spearing you down. Like, you know, like fucking the guy from X-Men, the guy who like flips up his glasses and he has the red beams come out of that shit. That's like, that's literally what they're doing to you. They're like beaming you down. Cause you're, they're like, you're gonna bomb this, you fucking idiot. And they're all gonna bomb it too, but they're just judging you cause they're like, fucking, it makes them feel better anyway. People are toxic as fuck, bro, holy shit. Let me get a sip. Okay, yeah, bro. Anxiety can't exist when you have a purpose and when you know what your mission is, okay? That's it. Go on to the next. Fuck this. The slides are in. I'm going to the next. Step six, okay? Practice radical acceptance, okay? Let go of what you cannot control, man. This is like the fucking, this is the gauntlet. That if you can conquer and win, you conquer anxiety, all right? Anxiety is typically people just being like, they want to control shit either in the future, or they want to control shit that's like slightly behind them, and they're like, fuck, what do I do, what do I do? Like, I just fucked this all up, oh my god, I'm stressed. 
right? You start speeding yourself up. And you're like, in the future, you're like, I wish this would happen now. Fuck, what do I do? I gotta, can I, can I, can I speed it up? You know, you start going crazy, bro. When you feel anxiety rising, you gotta remind yourself, I control what I can and I release what I can't. Say it, repeat it, and believe that shit. That's freedom in the mind, all right? You're focusing only on the things within your power. Everything else is fucking, it's bullshit. It's not worth your energy, all right? Surround, surrender to the process, all right? Anxiety comes when you are obsessed with the outcome, when you're scared of what might happen. Instead, focus on the process, all right? Focus on the action, the daily micro actions that you can take to get to the macro goal. Trust that if you put in the work every day, the results will come. Surrender to that process and anxiety will lose grip, baby. Step seven, repeat, all right? Consistency is everything. Anxiety doesn't go away forever, but that doesn't mean, oh, sugar. That doesn't matter because you're not running from it, okay? You're standing up to it every day, ready to fight, and the more you fight, the stronger you get, and this is a fucking battle, but it's one that you will win, okay? Not you can. I don't know why I put that. You will win this fucking battle. Daily check-ins and progress, okay? Every day, take a few minutes to check in with yourself. How is your mental state? Are you slipping back into old patterns? Are you sticking to your routine, staying disciplined? If not, adjust. This isn't a one and done fix. It's a daily commitment to overcoming anxiety, all right? Progress over perfection, right? We're not perfectionists here. We are fucking whatever the opposite of that is, progressives, I don't fucking know. You're not gonna be anxiety free overnight though, and I'll tell you that, okay? That's why it's important to focus on the progress. If you're doing better today than yesterday, you're winning, bro, you're winning. Keep stacking those victories over time, and they will build into something massive, okay? Conclusion is that you've got the power with inside of you. You've got the power! Anxiety might be part of your life right now, but it's not your life and it's not who you are. It is a beast that you can tame, okay? It is a boss in the fucking final boss of an Easter egg, all right? It is something that needs to be acknowledged for what it's worth. And now you have the blueprint to overcome it and everything else, my friend, is on you, okay? You have the power within you, so believe in yourself and it will be taken care of in due time. See you in the next module, baby. We talk about depression. We're gonna fuck that shit up. Fuck depression. Let's go.